So VH1, I'm sorry, MTV, because it's not on VH1 anymore, began airing Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Run It Back. Season 1, Episode 5, just aired the other day, okay, on MTV. And we have to talk about one of these scenes that happened on the show because your man Trick Daddy now lost his mind, okay? Make sure you click thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I have a question to answer in the comment section. Now, if you think that Trick Daddy should be giving his negative opinions on Carly Red's looks. If you think it's okay for him to do that, say it's okay. Because maybe you feel like it's just his opinion. If you think that Trick Daddy needs to sit his ugly ass down to say yuck, that's why UK for the record. And remember, this is all just in fun, what I'm about to say, because I know some people are about to get mad, but make sure you click thumbs up, okay? Mimi Faust on the show asked Trick Daddy when they were reviewing like an old episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, you know, whether or not he would choose up or smash or have sex with Carly Redbone, who's one of my biggest crushes ever. Trick Fatty, I mean Trick Daddy, responded by saying that she's not his type, which is fine to say. However, he then goes the extra mile by saying he wouldn't hit her with the car. Now, before I roast this roach, let me show you this, okay? When Love & Hip Hop posted the video clip on their page, they said, tag that friend that don't leave nothing unsaid. Finger pointing down emoji, ghastly face emoji. Hashtag Love and Hip Hop Atlanta running back is all new Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Now on that MTV shouting emoji. Hashtag running back. Hashtag MTV Tuesdays. Carly Redbone said, anyone here trying to date or sleep with my brother Trick Daddy? Please raise your hand. So let me ask you that question before I go in. If you would date, sleep with or whatever Trick Daddy, say hands up. And if you don't want to smash Trick Daddy, say thumbs down. That'll let me know which side you're on, okay? Oh, one more question. And remember, just please leave separate comments. Some of y'all are slow. I swear to fucking God. Uh, I know some of you are going to put everything that I'm asking all in the same comment and confuse the hell out of me when it pops up. I'm not going to know what's going on. <sighs> if you think Carly Red is hot, say she's hot. If you think she's not, say she's not. That'll let me know whether or not you think Carly Red is attractive. But anyways, Maurice, Trick Daddy, come here. You baked potato skin motherfucker. You did not say that about one of my favorite light-skinned women's. When I heard him say that, I had to double back. I had to rewind it and play it again to make sure I heard him correctly. As I said, now I know this 200-year-old antique alligator skin motherfucker did not say that. Sitting up there looking like a deep fried booger in a t-shirt. Man looks like a botched BBL. Bloated corpse looking SOB. Son of a booger. I know he did not come for my woman. That man needs a dentist. A dermatologist, a dietitian, and a pallbearer. How are you going to sit your dead looking ass up there <laughs> and say what you said about Carly Red? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. See, back in the day, when Carly Red was in her prime, she was the finest woman on the show out of all the franchises Atlanta, Miami, New York, Hollywood, Hollyweird. And Trick Daddy looks like a special effect. But here's the thing, right? So this is around 2012 or so, yeah, 10, 11 years ago. Carly Redbone was hands down the baddest chick on the show. Okay. And here this dude is, and, and don't get it twisted. She's still fine, but you know, she's damn near 50. You know what I mean? Like you ain't going to be a 10 forever. I mean, she, well, she's still low key a 10, but you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Long story short, Trick Daddy, if I ever need a mirror cracked, I know who to call. Okay, Ghostbusters, Slimer, whatever. I, I mean, can, can you believe he had the gall to say that about Carly Redbone? What? Fool. Anyways, I was about to say something about his choices in women and how, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to start comparing women and I was about to get myself into all sorts of trouble. So make sure y'all click thumbs up, subscribe, choose all notifications. The secret password to say in the comment section to let me know that you made it until the end of this video is... B and B. Why B and B? For Beauty and the Beast. Because Carly is a beauty and Trick Daddy's a whole beast out here. And he's a he's a fantastic rapper. Trick Daddy is one of my favorite rappers. From back in the day. Stop it. Trick Daddy. They'll make me run down them hits. I was thinking like who could do a versus with Trick? You know, it's it's hard it's hard for me to decide because he, he has some dope records. A lot of people are sleeping. But the, actually Trick Daddy would destroy T.I. I just realized that it should be Trick Daddy and T.I. And anyways, I got another video to make.
I, 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 anyways, yeah, say B and B for Beauty and the Beast in the comment section. I gotta go. Oh, what do y'all think about the Trick Daddy versus Ti idea? Say good idea or bad idea if you would watch a versus with Ti and Trick. Anyway, I gotta go. I got another video to make. Oh, and before I go, this is what real colorism looks like. Imagine a Trick Daddy or anybody said this about a woman in the complexion of Trick Daddy or his ex. He would never. They would never get away with it. A black man would never get away with it. That is. But you can say something like this about a light-skinned woman because everybody knows that they look the best.